Hi, this is Gary from 3Bug Media. And today we're gonna to talk about something that can vastly improve the results you get with your current marketing. And that is having a direct marketing mindset. So what is direct marketing? Basically it's action-oriented marketing where your every ad that you run or campaign that you run has an action focus to it where you want the person looking at it or reading it to take a specific action. And that could be to buy something to make a phone call, fill out a contact form, sign up for an email list, something like that. It's something tangible that you can track and you can measure. And that's crucial for small businesses that have very small budgets and they can't afford to waste their marketing dollars. So, you know, if the current year, you know, we're, we're closing out 2016 here. And if you haven't been happy with the results you've been getting, and you really want to, you know, and now you're planning on refocusing for 2017, one of the most important things you can do is to have a direct marketing mindset. And we're going to go over some of the pros of what you should be doing and some of the things that you should be avoiding. So when it comes to direct marketing is it's results oriented. So anytime that you're going to run a marketing campaign or you're going to place an advertisement somewhere, do any kind of ad, you want to make sure that it's results oriented. You want to know what you're going to get out of it. So you're not introducing people to your brand. You're not just saying hello, you know, here we are, we're a new company. You're trying to get them to take action. And that action depends on what your marketing and sales funnel looks like. So that may be going straight for a sale. That may be getting them to sign up for an email list or, you know, maybe downloading something or filling out a contact form or calling you something like that. But whenever you, create any kind of ad or marketing campaign, make sure it's results oriented, that it's something tangible that's going to eventually help build your bottom line. And with that, it has to be something that can be measured. So you wanna be able to set a goal with your marketing or your ad campaign and be able, what kind of result are we looking for? And once you know what the result you're looking for, how are we gonna measure it? And a lot of times you can measure it with maybe sending people to a specific page on your website that you're tracking through Google Analytics. Maybe it's having a promo code or some kind of offer code inside the advertisement, something that you can track back to that specific campaign or ad so you know whether it's working or not. Because when it comes to online marketing, that's the way you get better, is being able to test and measure and improve over time. So it has to be something that can be measured. And also directly tied to key objectives. So what are the key objectives for your business? And that may be obviously building your revenue, making sales, but if you have a more complex sales cycle, marketing cycle, things like that, where maybe getting people to fill out a form, maybe getting people to sign up for an email list, maybe that starts the marketing and sales funnel process for you and maybe that's a goal. So whatever action that you're trying to get from that ad or that marketing campaign, make sure it's tied to one of your key objectives because the objective with a direct marketing mindset is to make more money and to make more sales. Also targeted, you wanna run targeted campaigns. And this is a problem most businesses get into where you ask them, well, who's your target market? And the answer is, everybody's my target market. Well, no, they're not your, everybody isn't your target market and you don't have the budget or the reach to be able to reach everybody in your market. The only result you get from trying to target everybody is that your message and your ad or, or marketing campaign gets so watered down that it doesn't resonate with anybody and nobody takes action on it. So figure out who your market is and that's one of the most important things that you can do. And you'll probably find that you may have a couple different different segments that you target. And maybe it's something like uh, newlyweds or new moms or baby boomers, and maybe all three on there, and that's fine. What you want to do is when you create your uh, marketing campaigns or your advertising, advertising campaigns, is that you want to segment those. So you want to create an ad campaign that speaks directly to newlyweds another one that speaks directly to baby boomers, another one that speaks directly to new moms. The more targeted you can get with your messaging, the better response you're going to get with your ad. So instead of doing one giant ad that you try to cover everybody, break it down into specific advertising campaigns that have a specific message for each person. And the great thing is, unlike traditional advertising, 
when it comes to online marketing, this is easy to do and it doesn't cost you any more money. Whether you're running Google AdWords, uh, Facebook ads, even SEO, things like that, you can segment and target different people with your message. So targeting is crucial if you want to get a direct marketing mindset and you really want to start making sales and results with your, with your money. Things to avoid. Branding campaigns. So branding campaigns, think of like Coke. Uh, you'll see a billboard that says drink Coke or something like that, or maybe just their logo. Those are what's called branding campaigns. They're not expecting uh, any more sales or somebody to call them or take action on the ad. It's strictly to stay top of mind on there. And those are very, you know, these companies spend tens of millions of dollars a year on branding campaigns where there's no measurable result on there. As a small business owner, if you do this, you will go out of business. You do not have the runway, you do not have the budget to run a branding campaign. If anyone tries to sell you on a branding campaign, tell them to get lost because they're going to put you out of business. When, you know, small business owners have very tight budgets, you need to be very frugal with your money. So you want to make sure you're getting a result and you can track every dollar that you spend on your marketing and advertising campaign. So no branding campaigns, everything should have a focus and an action that's based on your key objectives for your business. Likes, follow, shares. These are huge right now the last year or two, social media. A lot of social media companies, advertising companies, trying to run campaigns, trying to get more likes for your pages, trying to get more people to follow you, trying to get people to share your message, social media, things like that. Social media is well and good. It's a great way to communicate with customers, potential customers, get some exposure, things like that. Terrible when it comes to spending money on there. Social media routinely ranks at the bottom of marketing platforms and channels that produce revenue for businesses. Okay, so do not spend your money trying to get more likes, trying to get people to follow you, things like that. You're wasting your money. Unless you can prove 100% that somebody liking your page turns into a sale for your business, do not bother running campaigns with this. That's not, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be running uh, marketing or advertising campaigns on social media, but your goal should not be to try to get likes, follow, shares, favorites, things like that. It should be more results oriented and that may be getting them back to your website to fill out a form, maybe to download something, sign up for an email list, things like that. That should, you, that should be your goal even if you're doing social media is something tangible and something that's eventually going to contribute to your bottom line. There's, there's thousands and thousands of companies out there that are chasing their tails, trying to get more likes, thinking to themselves, eventually that's going to turn into more business. I can tell you for a fact, doing this for 10 years, that is not the case. Very rarely do social likes and shares, things like that actually turn into revenue dollars. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be using them, but they should be a means to an end to get you to your real objectives, which is to get them on an email list, get them to take some kind of commitment for your business on there. So do not spend money on those things. Uh, in a similar fashion, uh, reach, impressions, and hits. You'll have marketing companies, advertising companies trying to sell you on that. You, you'll see that if you ever do uh, print ads, you'll have the newspaper will say, well, we can reach 50,000 people in your area, things like that. Do not pay for reach. Reach is meaningless. You do not know if people are going to even read the ad, see it, like it, take, you know, let alone take action on it. So reach is meaningless on there. Do not spend based on reach, only spend on results. Same thing with online marketing impressions. You'll, you'll get some companies that try to sell you, you know, will get you 100,000 impressions. It sounds great. Totally meaningless. Same thing. You don't know if people are actually seeing it, liking it, reading it. You're actually reaching the same, you know, the, the right people for your business. Total waste of money. Do not focus on impressions. Only focus on measurable actions that lead to your key objectives, which is basically to make more sales and make more money. Hits, same thing. Hits is basically people coming to your site. So somebody says, we'll get you 500 hits, meaning 500 people coming to your website. Totally meaningless because if they don't buy anything, they don't take the action you want, it doesn't really matter on there. They may not even be your target market on there. So don't focus on hits, only focus on results. Broad generic campaigns, the opposite of targeted campaigns. Make sure that you're not trying to be everything to everyone. Your marketing message will be so watered down that it won't resonate with anybody. 
So make sure that you stay away from broad generic campaigns. Laser focus is what you want to think about. Break out your customer base, your target market into specific profiles and then run targeted campaigns for each one. And like I said earlier, when it comes to online marketing, it's easy to do. It doesn't cost you any more money. It just takes a little bit more work and thought on your part to put it together, but it will translate into better conversion rates and more sales for your business. So that's about it. If you don't learn anything else from this is do not waste your money this year coming up. Do not waste your money on broad generic campaigns, on goals that mean nothing to your bottom line. Focus on results, goals, things you can measure, key objectives for your business that are tied to your bottom line and very laser targeted campaigns. If anyone comes to you and wants to try to sell you on any of this stuff, save your money, be very frugal with your marketing dollars because you don't have a big budget. The smarter you get doing this stuff, the more results you'll have with your marketing. Hope you learned a little bit. If you want to learn more, you can go to 3bugmedia.com and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Thank you very much and have a good day.